Hello, my name is Chelsea and you can find me at Health by Chelsea on Instagram. Today I'm going to be making chocolate babka using cracked the no egg egg. So the first thing I'm going to be starting off with is some plain flour and then I'm just going to be adding a pinch of salt. Then in goes the sugar and before I add the yeast I'm just going to give that a mix because if you put yeast directly on top of salt it can inactivate the yeast and then the dough won't rise as much. And now I'm going to be going in with one sachet of yeast. So now I'm going to go in with the wet ingredients, starting off with cracked, the no egg egg, followed by a little bit of oat milk. And I'm going to start by giving that a mix before I add anything else. And I'm going to go in with some vegan butter now. And I'm just going to mix everything until it is fully combined. So you're just going to want to let the dough prove for about five hours. If you're somewhere where the weather is quite hot, then you can just let this sit at room temperature. But if it's quite cold, then pop the oven on to quite a low heat and you can set it in there. You will need to cover it with a tea towel as well. Whilst the dough is sitting during its first prove, I'm going to go ahead and make the chocolate filling for the babka. So I'm starting off with some dark chocolate here, as well as some vegan butter. And just let that melt down over a medium heat until everything is thoroughly mixed. So now that I've got a really smooth, silky texture, I'm just going to turn the heat off and start adding my dry ingredients with some cocoa powder, as well as icing sugar, and lastly, some caster sugar. Give that a mix until everything is thoroughly combined. This might take a while, but it is best if the mixture is completely smooth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pop this into the fridge because you do want to end up with a paste-like texture. The dough is done proving and it has now doubled in size, so I'm gonna start to roll it out into a large rectangle now. Now that the dough is in a large rectangle, I'm going to go ahead and spread the chocolate filling over the surface. You want to ensure that the chocolate is nearly touching the edges, but not quite. Now that the chocolate filling is evenly distributed, I'm going to go ahead and roll the dough up into a cylinder. Just gently roll the dough, ensuring that it doesn't stick to the surface. Once you have formed a log, put the seam side down on the counter and gently squish the edges to the centre. Now I'm just going to use a serrated knife to cut down the centre. You don't want to cut right from the top, you want to leave that still joined, but just cut down all the way to the bottom and gently work the knife back and forwards until you have a nice clean cut down the middle. Now you want to turn each side of the dough upwards so that it is facing the ceiling. Then gently braid the loaf by crossing one strand over another. Just do this really carefully so that none of the chocolate filling goes anywhere. So you just want to braid the loaf crossing each strand one over another. This bread really does look quite stunning before it's baked because the layers are really distinct. Then, once you get to the end, gently press together both ends of the dough and squish it down a little bit more so that it will fit into your pan. Carefully put your hands underneath the dough and gently push it into your pan. So the babka now needs to rise for another 40 minutes to an hour. The dough is done proving, so I'm now going to pop it into the oven at 170 degrees for about 20 to 30 minutes to bake. Just before the babka comes out of the oven, I'm going to go ahead and make a simple sugar glaze which gives the babka a really nice glossy effect. So I've got some cast sugar here and I'm also going to add some water into the milk pan. And now I'm just going to heat that gently on a very low heat because you really don't want it to bubble. You just want to wait until the syrup becomes clear. So now that that is nice and clear, I'm just going to 
take it off the heat and set it aside until the babka comes out. The babka has been in the oven for just over 20 minutes and it's now a lovely golden brown colour so I'm just going to take it out. I've now got my sugar glaze here which I'm just going to brush all over the babka. Make sure the entire surface of the babka is covered in this beautiful syrup. And there you have it, a beautiful chocolate babka made with cracked the no egg egg.